Bye. Balling like it's no tomorrow. Hopefully they don't copyright me like that. Probably sound like Keith. Shit, me. Logan Paul, scammer, allegations. <laughs> Let's get right into it. <laughs> Real shit, though. He dropped his crypto, cryptos in response. He came out with this new uh, token, coin. Bro, I don't even know why. Maybe... I want to be optimistic and believe that niggas actually be believing that. Like, it's that easy to make cryptocurrency and it's that easy to 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 take this business booming. Yo, quick sidebar. I just had a fucking, I ain't gonna say epiphany, but I just had a thought. The dudes that got that that mysteriously died, that were like billionaires in the crypto world, that story just got glazed over. What's going on with that? I have not seen a follow-up story. I have not seen anything yet about that shit. I, I think I've seen uh, 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 Elon Musk tweet something like his life is possibly in danger and then nothing. I haven't heard anything about that. Let me know if y'all know anything about that, bro. Because that shit was definitely crazy. Niggas died simultaneously damn near in a week or two, in a week and a half, or two week span. Like, that shit was fucking... And it was all mysterious. <laughs> and nothing was... nothing. All, but somehow everything was natural causes... Some crazy shit like that, bro. Let me know how y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Where it's like you get an egg and then you can hatch the egg and it's a big NFT. Who's really excited about this? NFT was scam. This was off the back of his 99 Originals project, nice. which was actually really dope. Logan Paul building some momentum, repairing his reputation after the whole forest situation from a few years back, and then this happens. Coffeezilla drops a three-part series, basically documenting a whole bunch of details about how he was alleging that the crypto zoo, crypto zoo thing was a scam because one, it didn't work, and then he was basically pointing insinuating that, that it was that, really shady, that it was shady, and yeah. borderline fraudulent. No, this is a mean scam. He, 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 he called would, it a scam. Coffeezilla, a YouTuber who does a lot of investigation on a lot of scams especially in the financial sector he, he made an entire a three-part documentary insinuating mm -hmm. that logan paul mm -hmm. if not directly indirectly was preparing to scam his audience with this project that he had to send out there in the three-part documentary there's a lot of it's crazy bro i mean <laughs> i don't know how to feel about this like NFTs never made sense to me anyway, or with these like cryptocurrency and shit like that never made sense to me anyway. So I never, I never was, uh, I never got into it. Oh, uh, but that's not to say that like obviously Bitcoin and shit kind of like was one of those situations, and it and it kind of it, it happened and it blew up. You know what I'm saying? So it made a lot of people money, but I feel like that's that was a phenomenon. Like it's it'd be hard to reenact or or. or or to emulate some shit like that. Like, that's one in a million, maybe one in a billion kind of possibilities, bro. Like, I still don't even understand Bitcoin to a degree. And, like, and all these NFTs and all that stuff. So, that shit was already a little... Ah, but let's get back to this. I mean, a lot of allegations that was set in stone. Yeah. Um, and so, Logan finally made a response to that. Uh, and just just briefly, you know, I hit on a couple of notes. You know so the first I, I hate pausing at mad times. But you know what's interesting about this, the, the NFT shit? It's like it piggybacked off of a moment in time where like Bitcoin and shit was going crazy and it kind of was like people kind of like pushing this to be the next evolution of that or like the next segue to that. So they kind of hopped on it because they felt as though, oh, I miss out on Bitcoin. I don't want to miss out on this. So people bought big in a lot of these, a lot of these currents, these currencies and, and all these different things. And maybe, maybe they were informed and maybe they were misinformed, whatever the case may be. But they were just like, you know, I'd rather be put a lot of money into it now or invest into it now. And then further on down the line, I'll look and I'll be like, I appreciate I was glad. And that's what happens with a lot of investments. But NFT and all that shit did not make sense to me, bro. So I wasn't doing it. But it's crazy. Like, I think I seen some shit about Justin Bieber. I put like, let's say like 1.5. I think his shit, NFT now is worth like $11,000 or some shit like that. Maybe 100K. I might be dragging it. But that's scary as fuck. And like, who do you who are you to blame for some shit like that? It's just a poor investment at this point. You gotta chalk it up, and maybe try to reap some rewards of that money, said money that you spent, or write maybe write it off. Who fucking knows? First thing I noticed that Logan Paul really didn't apologize for no. really anything. And lastly, Coffeezilla, I now know your motives with this clout and money. Good for you, but also your your slimiest. So I'm not gonna come on any of your podcasts. If you want to come on, I'm impulsive and talk about this. 
that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. It can be a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if not, we're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. Well, some would argue is probably the worst response imaginable. Now, some people would also argue oh, that. Oh, it could be worse. It could be worse? You haven't seen worse apologies on YouTube? Yeah, because EDP. Oh, so EDP, EDP, EDP is a terrible. Yeah, I've seen some worse apologies. So uh, it could be worse. It could, it could be but worse. But it was bad. It was, it, was, it was a bad. And the reason why it was bad is because it came across as if, like, he was not apologizing. Some of the reason why he said he wasn't apologizing mm -hmm. is because of the people in which CoffeeZilla was interviewing within the three-part documentary. In this three-part documentary, mm -hmm. Um, CoffeeZilla was interviewing people who were a part yeah. of the project on the back end. Coffee, you interviewed the developer. No, I'm good. Oh, wait, so he said that he's going to interview All right, thank you. No, you too. For who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage. Oh, wait, so he's suing niggas now? That's fucking crazy. For a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other for, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. Who will be calling Z here? I guess, among many things, it doesn't surprise me that he lied about having 30 engineers and a $50,000 a week burn rate. On my end, I have 30 engineers that burning. $50, Which side note is how this delusionist landed on the million dollar code ransom, but it turns out he only had three engineers. Wouldn't someone with journalistic integrity know their credible source had not only an agenda, but a fondness for orange jumpsuits? Or did you just hear what you wanted to hear and moved on? Because even if you're lying to yourself, Steven, you still have to believe it. And I know what you're thinking. What type of idiot would work with an unsavory individual like Zach? Yo, the verbiage is mad funny, son. The unsavory <laughs> entity is crazy. He didn't say entity, but I'm adding that because that made it even more funny. Unsavory is mad funny, yo. I'm not going to lie. That That is mad funny, bro. Because he's, <laughs> he's definitely defamated his son's character all crazy. First and foremost, unsavory. Yo, this is... Kelly. White, yo, back to what I said. This white-on-white white crime needs to stop. <laughs> Y'all need to, this white on white prejudice, this activity needs, this shit is unbefitting. <laughs> you heard? Y'all are out here running amok. This shit is egregious. I think y'all need to, you know what I'm saying, work this shit out in, via verbiage. <laughs> but you need to calm the verbiage down because this shit is slang at this point. Y'all are out here. Pause. Y'all are out here. You know, I ain't even about to say that because that was about to be crazy. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage Eddie's hiring process, who has turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires, the Mormon church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now me. So if you didn't watch the whole three-part series, there's a few allegations that were made. So there was a whole bunch of text exchanges that were shown, basically showing that off the jump, the intention was to make money. But Logan Paul says the intention was to do, he had this vision and he really wanted to see it through, but the text are showing that money was a big priority. In all honesty, Logan could have just kept it a buck and said, well, this is a project. I'm investing millions of dollars into this or hundreds of thousands of dollars. I want to make a kickback on this. Yeah. And everyone would have said, well, that's understandable. But Logan is pretending as though but money was not a motive that. at all. He keeps even ignoring though, it too. Even even though That's the text okay. exchange that CoffeeZilla yes. showed shows that money was most definitely a priority, even if Logan's saying it wasn't. That's the first thing. The second thing is there's stages to the NFT stuff, and it's so ripe with fucking corruption that like there's lots of bad actors in this space. Yes. But what Logan and them was trying to do was undoubtedly shady. They were trying to pre-sell some shit that didn't even work yet, basically off the promise that Logan Paul's gonna deliver because his last project did well. The only thing is they didn't want to deal with all the SEC guidelines, violations investigations and things of that nature. So they went through like 16 different loopholes to be able to pre-sell this thing. And every bit of the exchange, when you go through the coffee zilla. Nah, first of all, once sh it's on some. Nah, yeah, that's shitty, bro. I think I heard of somebody doing something similar, but with clothing. Like they don't start making it until you actually like purchase the clothing. Like they had, cause they don't have enough like inventory to like, they don't have enough like space to store the inventory. So they'll wait until it's processed and then they're able to then go forward with the processing of making this, the merch. And then it take, that's why it takes so long to actually get sent to you. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's some of these shits are done from a garage out of a house. You know what I'm saying? Out of a fucking hut, who knows? But you know what I'm saying? Him going through six different loopholes. I feel as though he wasn't that confident. <laughs> 
again, it was a money grab. You're going through six, six whatever. Obviously, the the number may or may not be authenticated, but you're going through all these different these different loopholes just in order to get the a pre sale product that doesn't even you don't even know works yet. Just just that's that's egregious. That's crazy, bro. It's definitely about money. Hundred percent. Three part documentary shows that they because you're going to use their money. You're going to use their money to then try to push you. You're gonna obviously, but you're gonna use their money to then try to make sure that it works. And then when it doesn't work, it flops. You already got a kickback off it. You already paid the people you needed to pay. And then now it's kind of on some shit like, well, it didn't work. You guys kind of paid for it already. Signed up for the agreed for the terms. Ah, uh, I can't be sued because this is legal. In a in a sense, so I'm pretty much I I'm good, but I'm gonna catch flack for this. And they're they're gonna assassinate my character. But anybody, anybody with power, anybody that actually like stands up and say something is definitely that's a defamation case. You so were most you're definitely interested in not only maintaining full control but making money. But the thing is, is they immediately lost control because the advisor they had on board they trusted he sold, and the lead developer not only sold, but that nigga ran off with the code because he said that Logan wasn't paying him. So it's now. But now let's pause it for a second. I want I want to stop and acknowledge something. Because also Logan, we, this is after, we actually making this right after he dropped the Impulsive mm -hmm. podcast. So he gave us a little bit more details. And to be fair to Logan, is there a possibility that he bit off more than he could chew? Yes, 100%. I'm saying that as a fat man. 100%. So yes, that is. Hey, first of all, hey, yo. Him biting off more than, hey, yo. That's one. Secondly, you, you, nah. You insinuating that because you, nah, that's a, yo. But a, a, Nah, we out. There's a possibility <laughs> that he bit off way oh, more than he could chew, and okay. he was out there making very bold claims of a project that mm -hmm. he probably was not going to be able to fulfill because he wasn't that familiar with tech. He also acknowledged that in the impulsive um, podcast as well. So to be fair to Logan, that that you know, to be fair, there's a possibility that he just was in over his head. However, you still have to take some form of accountability in that I'm because you're sure. making very broad and bold statements to a bunch of people who are committing hundreds upon thousands, if not more money to your project and you're making these claims without thoroughly understanding everything that is involved with it. So you start to take accountability in, in those regards, but there's a possibility it was just more that he could chew. So that, mm -hmm. that, that to be fair to Logan, there's that. The text messages, like you said, are damning. And for whatever- Hi, drop shippers. It's time to focus on what you do best. So go to Wix. Whatever reason in the impulsive uh, podcast, as well as in the um, in the original five six minute um, video that he responded with, he just refuses to. Take, he he does he doesn't even say anything Ooh. about that. And I agree with you. He could easily just say, "Hey, those text messages seem bad." But at the end of the day, I'm investing into a project that I do believe I deserve some form of income or kickback or some type of return on my investment. And this is probably the best way to do it mm. without sitting here and pulling mad money out. Yo, it still would have came off bad, but that's a that's a cleaner way to 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 say that's that's a bet that's a cleaner way of saying I still want I want bread. You know what I'm saying? All at once. So, so he could have said that, but he just he keeps ignoring it, so it makes him look really bad. But the most there, important thing out of all of this is really the people that lost money. But Facts. when it comes to the drama here, is that Logan and his manager did not sell. Now, granted, yes, they them did not just, sell. Yes. Them deciding to sell, making $5 million, this, that, the third, is not worth tarnishing Logan's entire reputation. I'm sure he could just fucking wake up, take a deal, and make $5 million. So I believe him when he says he had a vision for some shit he wanted to see out. Uh, uh, and I'm sure that vision came with $100 million, all right? Yes. But my takeaway after seeing all of this, about a, uh, that impulsive episode, Logan's response, the CoffeeZilla series, and whatever fuck else comes out I, in the future, who knows? But from what we know right now is that Logan is getting a whole lot of flat when he seems to be getting fucked over as well. Now look, Logan has a historic, like a very historic run of just negative press. And so it's very easy to fucking elbow hang from the free throw line dunk on this nigga. Especially when you look at the text message, you're like, ah, uh, here Logan goes again. Yeah, I, I never really was a Logan Paul fan. I never really knew too much about him, but I, every time I seen him in the media, it was some negative shit. But for whatever reason, niggas is not jacking something. For whatever reason, I don't know him like that. I know he's from him and his brother. I think he's from Disney, some shit like that, bro. But he's all they've always been in the press with some funny shit. But that's interesting. So yeah, when you the kind of the scapegoat, it's easy for some niggas to just point the finger and just be like, man, we don't fuck with that nigga, man. F nigga is a cornball. He's corny. Nigga's a dickhead. Fuck, we gotta say he did that shit on purpose, bro.
You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that's not the case. But he didn't scamming say niggas once again. Time. Every time my brain kept thinking like, well, the niggas pre-order video games, and nobody has a problem with that. But like, there's a, there's a seed rounds, series A, B, C's, and the this businesses that we though. all yeah, use, say, and different. nobody says anything about those. So like, different. people predict the game. The game may not be fully developed, but the game is developed enough to where you're gonna still get your playtime. Yeah, you may have to buy some DLCs. It may not be fully completed, but you know this bitch work. You know what I'm saying? You know that bitch work. So it's a little different. It's definitely a little different. I get what he's trying to say. lots of businesses the, that's... I get the comparison agent is trying to make, though. It, I get what he's saying. Yeah. But it's definitely, it's, it's, it's definitely still different, nonetheless. Sell you something before you even get a chance to experience it. Yeah. And Logan's saying that the game is, whatever the fuck he's making, is still in development. You could run around and say all Logan's doing is PR. The reason he didn't sell was PR. All this is PR. But in all reality, the nigga did not sell. He did not make bread off this fucking project. He got fucked by the developer. That's objectively true. He got fucked by his advisor. That's objectively true. The only thing Logan can get slandered for here is he yeah, gassed up a project that doesn't have no fucking legs yet. The shit does not work. He does not have the code. And we don't know what the fuck the roadmap looks like because that was all these fucking legal. So, yeah, that, that's another thing. so now he's now he can't speak on shit because yeah. of all these legal reasons. Oh, so let's go back. Let's but go back the for crypto a zoo niggas want to know what the fuck is going on so, with the project. So what we end up happening is that the reason why Logan went I don't want to say ghost, but the reason why he went mute on the whole subject matter is because once a lot of more things are being revealed to him behind the scenes, or at least this is what he's claiming, legally he could not make any any um, statements publicly because they were trying to deal with things on the back end. As you can imagine, I was not cleared from legal to discuss much of this, including the legal process being undertaken and the criminal investigations going on during the fallout. But I do appreciate you calling out that rats under my nose stole the game code, millions of dollars, and left Jeff and I abandoned with no team and knives in our back. Mm. So what it seems as if like, hey, CoffeeZilla is hitting this three-part series and Logan hasn't said anything, so it looks even worse. But there is a very realistic possibility that he was already dealing with this behind the scenes and legally he couldn't say when you wash your body do you use a moldy loofah a dirty washcloth or you're that guy that just uses their hands while only yeah, yeah, nigga, anything because of all the bad actors and then going through the legal um system yeah. i'll be seeing that's another thing bro i'm i'm not afraid not necessarily afraid of but when i actually do become a full-time uh content creator slash streamer and shit like that very successful content creator slash streamer i gotta put that in there one of the biggest to ever do this shit That whole legal back and forth shit is going to be annoying, bro. It's going to be mad annoying. It's going to be mad, like, ta like taxing, bro. Dealing with that shit. Like, you say something, somebody's pop, like, you, you, you spill the pain. I'm not going to say it's hateful or whatever the case may be, but you say something. Niggas may just take offense and be like, oh, defamation. And just the mere fact that that's what it is, you still may have to go through the court procedure. You know what I'm saying? You get sued. You, even if you're li liable to win, you still got to go through the court procedure. You still can't speak on things. You may still be drained. You may be tired. You may not want to want to stream or, or make a content at that moment because you're upset or you're not in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is... You already got to still deal with life. That shit is annoying, my nigga. That shit is wild annoying. And it's and, and it's taxing. But, you know what I'm saying? That's it's part of the game. It's part of the job sometimes. And you just got to take that shit with a grain of salt. But we're going to get um, through that. So that is, that's also fair. The thing that I want to just hone in also to Logan, because this part was also, Logan just keeps like hammering this down. You never try to talk to me. You never, you never. I hate when people say Yeah, shit and, and, and that's, and, and I personally do not believe that CoffeeZilla's only <laughs> attempt to talk to Logan was on December 24th, Christmas Eve, the way that Logan is trying to make it seem like. He just sat in there and said, well, he claimed that he in tried to get to his um, manager, twice. manager twice. And then Logan saying, well, you didn't try. Yeah, man, I'm going to just end it right there. Uh, unfortunate. Hopefully, they should, this whole shit get resolved. Hopefully, people uh get compensated and see the end goal of where their money went. And hopefully, you know, what I'm saying all this shit gets straightened out, man. Because you know, at the end of the day, this shit was an operation, and right now it's fucked. But you know, what I'm saying they still got people to rely on because you know they invested just like how you invested. In, they they invested in your dream just like how you invested in your dream. Hopefully this shit gets sorted out and, and everybody get a good product and everybody ends up happy with it, man. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about this whole Logan Paul shit. I don't really know too much about him. I don't really know too much about whatever the fuck he was promoting. But apparently it was a scam in some capacity or he was scammed and then the other people in turn got scammed. Let me know how y'all feel though. Uh, if y'all know further details on what happened or what, their, uh, what he was making, let me know, man. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I might actually go do a follow-up video, too. So...
yeah just let me know if y'all want to see that or not